so hello and welcome back in this video we will talk about in, about exercise 1.3 of chapter 1 of class 6 NCRT mathematics which is essentially the chapter that we were talking about and in the text of course the the exercises would look like this we have essentially three exercises here and we will go through each and every one of them so the first question that we have is um, estimate each of the following using the general rule so for example you have this is one a and you have essentially 730 plus 998 okay so now about these two numbers you want to round your numbers in such a way that uh, in such a way that basically your your number essentially you, you 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 will get essentially the best estimate possible of course you you don't want to actually add the numbers together but uh, but you just want to get an estimate right so now 730 and 998 now if i if essentially you can see that in the case of 730 the the one's place value is already a zero right so which means that essentially if you take the number 730 and, and round it to essentially to the tens place value you essentially the number is already is already rounded to the tens place value because the one's place value is a zero basically so you cannot you can i mean you cannot really round to the tens place value you have to round to the next place value, which is, of course, the, the hundreds place value. Now, if you take a look at the number here, you can see that after essentially next to essentially next to the hundreds place value, you have a three, which is less than five, which means that you have to round down. Rounding down, essentially, the seven remains a seven, and then these two digits are rounded by. Um, by zero so 730 would be, could be rounded only to a 700 there is no other possibility of course so then 730 is rounded to a 700 right now then f as far as 998 is concerned of course um, you cannot round to the ones place value you have to I mean, if you want to round, for example, to the tens place value, you can see that essentially next to the tens place value, you have an eight, right? In the case of, and, and you have to round up, meaning that basically the nine becomes a 10. And of course the 10, you cannot, you can, you have the, the ones place value, the tens place value and the hundreds place value. So, when this becomes a 10 you cannot put a 10 essentially in one place value it has to you have to essentially carry over right because it's not possible to to, to put essentially two digits in one place value so which means that essentially the the nine over here it becomes a zero and then one carry over the one carry over essentially becomes nine plus one which becomes a 10 and then the 8 is replaced by a 0 so you get already essentially you get already a thousand so 998 if you round it to the to essentially to the tens place value you'll get a thousand and of course if you round the number basically to the to the hundreds place value meaning 998 rounded basically to the hundreds place value you have a 9 over here so you have to round up the nine becomes a 10 and then these two digits are rounded are replaced by zeros which means that again you will end up with it with a thousand so the number whether you whether you round it to the to the tens place value or to the hundreds place value in any case you're going to be you're going to end up with a with a thousand right and now you can of course add the numbers together so thousand plus so essentially a thousand plus a seven hundred is going to give you a thousand seven hundred right 
whereas if you added the numbers together I actually added the numbers together you'll get 998 and 730 which would give you for example if this was a thousand the sum would be 1730 1730 and then this is just essentially 998 is a thousand minus two so if I subtract the two from here I'll get 1728 so the actual sum would be 728 and the difference between the estimated sum and the actual sum is only essentially a 28 now in this basically in this in this in in, in this calculation that we have done basically what is um, what, what is important to note is that essentially the difference between the actual sum and the, the estimated sum is only 28 right and the essentially a 28 out of a 1728 basically right which means that uh, which means that essentially the based on the difference then you can say that essentially that the estimate that we have calculated is not very far off from the very far off from the from the from the actual sum so it's a good estimate essentially now um so now let's say that essentially the same difference that we have here the same difference let's say that the actual number that essentially the actual sum in some in 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 some other case was for example 125 and the difference was a 28 meaning that the number that i got was for example 98 so then in this case essentially the the essentially the uh, in this case essentially I, I i could say that i could say that essentially the estimate that i calculated in this case was a much better estimate compared to this case because that's a 28 out of 125 which is a larger number compared essentially to the, the case over here which was a 28 out of a hundred out of a 1728 right you see over here if i take the if i take a fraction of the difference and um, if I take a fraction of the difference and the and the actual number, you see over here the you see over here that's seventeen twenty eight. That's a twenty eight out of seventeen twenty eight, meaning twenty eight divided by seventeen twenty eight. That's zero point zero one six, for example. Let's take it as zero point zero two, for example, right? But then if the if essentially if if you had essentially 28 out of 125 then the number would be a 0 0.2 right that's it that's essentially this number is essentially this number over here is 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.02 which is essentially this number is 10 times 10 times larger than this number right so in in terms of percentages of course then the difference the difference over here the, 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 the essentially the difference over here is only in this case is only two percent of the of the of the actual sum right but in this case the difference is 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 around 22 percent okay so 22 percent is of course is that means that essentially uh, you in this case i should have essentially made a much closer estimate of course right so now in order to now this the, the number that we calculated here you can actually use it for example either it's a one percent two percent twenty percent fifty percent that essentially is a meaningful way to to essentially to report to people how far away your estimated number is from the actual from the actual sum for example in order to understand this this situation better we can take a more practical example 
So a more practical example would be that, for example, let's say that, for example, somebody is going to prepare for a prepare food essentially for a party for a number of people, and they don't know how many people are going to come to the party. And you know essentially about the number of people and, and their names and everything. So they ask you how many people are going to come. And you would say, for example, 25 people, around 25 people. And then, of course, in parties, for example, it's not always easy to know how many people might come. Some people might not come. Some people might bring to other people and so on and so forth. Based on that situation, you would say essentially around 25 people, give or take four people. So give or take four people. So that means that the number that you're reporting, it has some tolerance. You, you, you're not actually sure about it, that uh, it's going to be actually 25 people. It might be 25 plus 4 people or 25 minus 4 people. So this is a 29 and this is a 21 which means that the actual number of guests that might come, essentially that could be any number. If you take the number of guests as G, for example, essentially the number of guests could be any number between a 21 and 29. It could be 21, 22, or 23, 24, 25, all the way up to 29, right? So this is the exact same type of situation. I mean the the the, your, the the numbers that you estimate here are the, are essentially are the, the exact type of the exact type of situation. I have done this calculation, for example, and I've estimated the number to be a seventeen hundred, right? And then somebody asks me, asks me, what was the result of that calculation that you did? I, I said some somewhere around 1700. And of course, they need to know how much room they have, meaning how much, what, what could the, the actual number have been actually, right? Because they want to do calculations. They want to buy food. They want to make arrangements. They want to, prepare for the party or for whatever the, the, the case might be. So they need to know how good an estimate this number is, meaning how close the number might be to the actual number, right? So in order to tell them that, in order to tell them how close my, my estimated number might, might be to the actual number, I can take basically this number, meaning the difference between the, the difference between the, the, the estimated number and the actual number, take a fraction of this number and the, and the, um, and the, the, and the actual number, meaning, for example, a 28 out of a 1728, right? So, and then, and then basically this number would be, for example, if you calculate this as 17, a, a 28 out of a 17, 28, that's essentially 0 0.016, for example. Let's round it to 0 0.02. That's 0 0.02. And this sign over here, this sign, this sign over here, this is, this means approximately equal to, because I, because I had this, this large, this long number over here, I essentially, I rounded the number to, to, for example, to two decimal places. And so I, 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 in order to, to show that basically my number is, has been rounded, I use this sign rather than this sign over here, which means exactly equal to. So this means approximately equal to, right? Now, then this number is a zero point, for example, 0 0.02. And if you want to, and then you can, you can basically, you can, um, um, you can essentially express this number in percentage form. Percentage form is essentially another way of 
it's it's essentially this the same number but then in another expressed in another form what it means is that for example if you have a one out of a hundred for example you would you would you would say that for example in our country one out of every hundred people is married for example or two out of a hundred people is male three out of a hundred is an engineer four out of a hundred four out of every hundred is for example um, I don't know they, they 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 repair roads for example or whatever the case might be so you would say four out of every hundred right four out of every hundred four out of every hundred that means four out of every hundred that means four hundredth which is the same thing as you could write this number as four percent so then then if i say that for example here in our country four out of every hundred people is married for example that means that in our country four percent of people are married that means that out of 100 people, 4 people are married. Out of 1,000 people, 40 people would be married. Out, out of a, for example, 10,000 people, meaning that would be essentially, um, that would be essentially, that, that's percentage, right? 4 out of a 100 is the same thing as 40 out of a 1,000, for example. That's the same thing as 400 out of a 10,000 and so on and so forth right and then depending on the on the on the actual population of the of the country then you can calculate meaning 4 out of 100 is is the same as 40 out of 1000 is the same as 400 out of 10000 and so on and so forth right that's the that's the that that's the application of basically of percentage right so um <clears throat> So then essentially the number that we had over here, which was 0 0.02, that's two hundredth, right? That's two hundredth. That means two out of a hundred, which is the same thing as 0 0.02. That's two hundredth, which is the same thing as two percent, right? If you had, for example, 20 out of a hundred, that would be 0 0.2, for example. That's two because essentially 20 out of 100 is the same as basically if you simplify essentially the numerator and denominator simplify one zero here one zero here that would be two tenths so that is essentially uh, 0 0.2 that's two tenths right which is the same thing as 20 per cent per hundred right that's 20 per cent okay so so then the same number that we had over here which is 0 0.02 that's the same as essentially two percent so then what i could say to the if i were to if i were to actually tell the person that how far my number might be from the actual sum then i would say then i could i could tell them that then they, 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 they might ask me, for example, what was the sum, the estimated sum that you calculated? I would say around 1700. And then I could tell them that, that, that my estimation is around 2% off from the actual number. Right? And based on this information that I give them now, they, now, that now they can essentially, uh, now they can, this 2%, using this 2%, they can do, they can do essentially all kind of all kinds of basic the arrangements preparations they are preparing for a party or whatever the case might be then this 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 two percent is room for them they they might prepare more food less food and so on and so forth okay so this is and and remember that just to make this uh, i mean to make this clear this is something that you might actually learn in a 
in for example in a statistics course for example later on when you are in class for example 9 10 11 12 or when you go to college this fraction you might you might find it over there with the proper name in some statistics statistics course and you can of course use the, the fraction in many different but for now essentially this is how this is how you can make sense of the the, the estimations that you do okay so i end this video here and in the next video we will uh, continue with the exercises thank you